there is a sunset clause on them. Once we run through the cycle of 75 years, and then there's the cycle of 100 years, and then we're done. Um, I Time has expired. I believe time has also virtually expired in favor of the motion. Yeah. It, did somebody rise to Mr. Harris? Are you that was basically mo most of what I had to say. <laughs> Are you making a motion to extend debate? I'm in favor, but like that long, if there's a few seconds left. Seven seconds. I can do it in seven seconds. There are only about half a dozen years left that we haven't done, maybe 10 if we include the war years. We're basically going to be done in a few years anyway, because almost everybody who can do retros is doing them. All right. Seeing as how debate time has expired, we will vote on the motion. This is on 3.13.1. All those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. We will move on to 3.13.2. <laughs> this also has four minutes of debate time. My name is Donald Eastlake. Uh, sorry, I haven't been saying that each time. Uh, possibly this one will be a little bit more controversial. <laughs> but it's, we only have a small debate time, so hey, we'll get through it one way or the other. Um, so this adds the new concept of a category Hugo as opposed to a year Hugo. The year Hugos are run for a particular previous year where no Hugos were awarded using the current rules. This says that if in some previous year no award was given in a particular category, because no award won, so to speak, under the rules, then uh, if Worldcon believes that there was something peculiar about that year and maybe <laughs> no award shouldn't have won, and they think something particular should have won, they may, if they're a multiple of 25 after, and no previous Worldcon has done this yet, they may decide to run a uh, category retrospective Hugo, and it's a little bit different because it would use the same definition of the category that had applied in the previous year when no award would won. Whereas no work on is ever required to do this, and under the rules we've adopted, if they ever do do this, then in the listing of the Hugos it would say this category was retrospectively rewarded 25, 50, whatever years later. So I think it's a good idea, that's why I suggest it. Comes Come to the microphone. Just a really quick question. Could uh, you state your name? Just oh, uh, Daniel Rigo. Uh, would this preclude consideration of no nominees in, uh, that uh, were in years where there was no award, or are they precluded from future consideration? <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Uh, nominations would be rerun for that category in year. Open yeah, the old nominations would be completely open. Okay. Everybody who was nominated before could be nominated uh, again, Can and I it could be name? that exactly the same yes. final list would show up, or it could be different. The chair will remind people you can't gain recognition while someone is speaking. So please don't stand. You're only weakening your legs. Uh, yes, a speech against, or a speech in prose. D David Wallace, I propose that we amend this by substituting 10 years for 25 years. Is there a second? Seeing none. Mr. Gallo, for what purpose does the member rise? Okay. We only have like 20 seconds for it. What? There's only 20 seconds left on the floor, sorry. State I'm your name. Ben Yallo. I believe that this particular motion is completely inappropriate. Take the microphone out of the... I believe this motion is completely inappropriate. We do not judge the decisions made by the voters under any circumstances. We do not say that, I don't like Lord of Light, it shouldn't have won a Hugo, why don't we re-vote? No award is listed just like any other candidate. And if the voters choose to vote no award, we should not second guess them. Miss Olsen, sweet four. You have 23 seconds. 
Priscilla Olson. And from what I understand of this, that means, um, so in 26 years, we can re-vote on Sasquan's no award or something like that. And if that's true, I think this is a gosh wow fun, wonderful idea because it sort of proves that maybe we'll all be around 25 years from now <laughs> and be able to play. So just for the fact that it's so wonderfully cool, we should do it. Uh, Ms. Kovar, a speech against? It's quite simple. Name. Sorry, Elspeth Kovar. It's quite simple, no award. That, that category has been voted on. It doesn't get voted on again. Mr. Stanley, for what purpose does the member speech again? There is yes. one minute left. There's one minute yet. There is no time left, yes. There's one minute left. And if that was good. Yes. Kevin Stanley. Yeah, there's only time left for speeches against. Mr. Chairman, uh, I respect Mr. Eastlake greatly and have ha worked with him before. However, this one I believe is a fatally flawed proposal, surely for administrative purposes. I believe it very difficult for a 25, 50, et cetera, hence Worldcon, to be able to recreate the administrative rules in place at the time that category existed. <laughs> and therefore, to spare us the attempt to do so, I, I encourage a vote against this proposal. Miss, Mr. Quinn, for what purpose does... Yeah, 15 seconds. You have 15 seconds. I believe this is a good idea. I believe it's not the time to do this. We have 25 years before this actually would affect anything. We have plenty of time to get this proposal right. No, it's a speech no, it's against. A speech against. <laughs> it's a speech against passing it now. It's a speech in favor of, pass of, of considering this in the future. That's the end. All right, I'd like to put the question. Yeah, we're, out of time. we're out of time, so we're going to, Mr. Kornigold, for what purpose does the member rise? I would like to move to amend this proposal, replacing 25 with 50. Is there a second? Seeing, seeing none, we're going to vote on the underlying proposal. All those in favor of 3.13.2, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The no's appear to have it. The no's have it. The motion fails. All right, it is currently 1237. We have two items of business left to handle today. I would really, really like to get through them if the meeting will allow it. So we are going to move on to B.2.9 universal suffrage. Look, the, your do we need a two minute timeout? Yes. Two minutes. That was the edge. Okay, we're, we're going to reset.